Hi everyone, this is a great pleasure to attend the AP. My talk is about the study of the relationship of NMR metabolite profile with performance, milk and health traits in the bovine. In this presentation, I will go through a typical scientific outline. Of great interest, our study was carried out in beef cattle. However, it brings interesting information about milk production as well. In cattle, phenotype is of great importance for precision livestock farming, both because it is the basis of the genetics and genomic selection that allows the identification of superior animals, resulting in greater productive efficiency, and because it can help in management, where how much more accurate for phenotyping, more precise will be the decision making in the field, helping in the farms with decisions. However, in cattle farming, we are deadlined with complex traits most of the time, including production and health traits. These traits are of extreme relevance for cattle production, and finding accurate means to predict them can offer great return for animal production. For this, an alternative that can assist the study and improvement of phenotyping these traits is metabolome. It is a technique of broad inference about animal physiology, which enables the search for biomarkers. Then, with that, we hypothesize that the blood serum and cholesterol weight metabolomes related to productive performance, milk composition, and health traits in peripartiriate beef heifers. Thus, this relationship could yield biomarkers with application for genetics improvement and general cattle husbandry. Therefore, the objective of our study were first, evaluate the association of the traits productive performance, milk composition and health indicators with metabolome, and second, to investigate specific metabolome biomarkers for these traits in heifers. We evaluate 36 cross-band pregnant heifers, and they were crosses of Bostaurus breed, and the animals entered in the experiment shortly after weaning and stay in until one week prior to calving. Heifers were fed using Kalangate system to determine their individual feed intake, and they were fed with high large basic diet, which was supplied at Libitum, and the requirements for maintenance and growth were meet or exceed in this diet. Here we have phenotype timeline. Thus, the beginning of the experiment was called delayed gestation, which consists of 33 days prior to calving. In here, we collect productive performance traits. In calving, we collect blood serum and colostrum A to assess health indicators traits. And in the nursing, which consists of 37 days post calving, we collect milk to evaluate its composition. And in each of these physiological status of heifers, blood serum were collected for further metabolomic analysis together with colostrum A. For the productive performance traits, we measure animals' body weight throughout the experiment and measuring the phenotype hip area and hump fat thickness that are indicators of body composition. Then we determine feed efficiency using residual feed intake, which is given by the difference between feed intake predicted and feed intake observed. And the prediction was made according to leanness, fatness, age, and days in gestation of the heifers. In relation to milk composition, we collect milk from heifers 47 days post calving, and we analyzed a number of characteristics, but for this study, we focus only on fat and protein. 
For health indicators, we evaluate the immune response capacity of the heifers against a specific antigen. For this, we challenge the animals with ovalbumin, as it is a novel protein for the heifers. And the challenge consisted of two vaccinations with ovalbumin. Then, after calving, we collected blood and colostrum from heifers, where blood, serum, and colostrum whey were processed using ELISA to measure total IgG and specific IgG to ova. The blood, serum, and colostrum whey were submitted to NMR metabolomic analysis using this equipment here which determines the chemical shifts of the metabolites that compose the samples. And next, we analyze this chemical shift to identify specific metabolites. For data analysis, to evaluate the correlation of the NMR spectrum with the traits productive performance, milk composition, and health indicators, Pearson correlation was performed using the software error. This was our approach to identify regions of the NMR and specific metabolites associated with our traits of interest. Now it's time to talk about our result. Let's start with productive performance traits. Uh, here we have the graph of the correlation of the blood NMR spectrum with Hibai area. The colors in the graph indicated the intensity of correlation of the metabolome with the traits, as indicated in the legend. When we investigate this correlation from close, we could identify specific metabolite. In this study, we chose to illustrate the strongest positive and negative correlation from each phenotype. Thus, for by area, the strongest positive correlation was found with lactate and the strongest negative correlation was found with ornithine. In here, we have the correlations of the blood NMI spectrum with hump fat thickness. We also had several correlations between these characteristics with NMI spectrum and we identify creatinine as the metabolite with strongest positive correlation with the trait and creatine with the strongest negative correlation with hump fat thickness. Among all of characteristics for productive performance, residual feed intake had the highest amount of high correlations with the NMR spectrum and probably due to the fact that the residual feed intake is a trait consisting of the combination of several parameters. For residual feed intake, we highlight the associations found with valine and citrate. Now talk about milk composition. For most of it, the milk fat was inversely correlated with NMR spectrum. Thus, we only have an example of negative correlation, that is the citrate. Unlike milk fat, milk protein has a strong positive correlation with NMR spectrum, and we identify alanine with a strong positive correlation with the trait, and glycine with a strong negative correlation with milk protein. When it comes to a specific immune response, we notice that blood IgG over has a predominance of negative correlation across the spectrum, while in the colostrum IgG over, the correlations were mostly positive. We identified the metabolites, isoleucine and glucose correlating blood IgG over, and we are able to identify the metabolites citrate and galactose on phosphate correlating with colostrum IgG over. In conclusion, traits of productive performance, milk composition and health indicators are associated with several regions of the blood, serum and colostrum A NMR in beef heifers. Many identifiable metabolites have strong associations with production 
and health traits with strong potential for acting as biomarking. And continuing research will seek for more potential biomarkers to develop screen panels for complex traits of farming interest. With that, we would like to acknowledge this institution for supporting our research. Thank you for your attention and you are welcome to read us out through ResearcherGate.